underneath the rim and just got caught that time. Here you see in the offense board down below. And if, you, if you're an offensive player and you get caught kind of, you don't want to be right below the rim. So you, if you get caught low, you just try to push the defensive player all the way under. So then if it kicks down, you're right there in position. But the official saw that forearm in the back made the call. 23 tonight for Miskevichus. He's now one shy of his career high. All tied up. Jordan Martin returns, replacing Galen Burenick. Career night for the junior from Lithuania. And I'm liking the Tom Chambers, Jack Sigmund. I mean, it, there's a real good cross between those you see him out there on the floor. Good reference. They're on their feet at the Ford Center. Dixon. Martin is fouled twice. 348 left. Evansville is down five just moments ago. Back in front. 58 to 57. Back with the conclusion after this. Take a trip through the bracket and go inside the final four in Indianapolis. NCAA March Madness Bracket Breakdown presented. Only one place takes you inside golf's most prestigious event. The Masters Mosaic from DirecTV. Watch six screens of enhanced coverage on one channel, including two featured groups and every swing at Amen Corner, all in crystal clear HD. Plus our interactive leaderboard, expanded player stats, and more. The only place to experience a major like this is DirecTV. The Masters Mosaic begins April 9th, starting at Channel 701. Ted's morning was not going well, and when his battery light lit up, it went from bad to worse. But a quick pit stop to AutoZone, where they checked that for free, and Ted and his car were back to peak performance. It's called The Zone, and we'll help get you there. Get in The Zone, AutoZone. You're really balling today. What's going on? It's all in the liver, bro. What are you talking about? The liver is responsible for 500 functions of the body. It produces glucose, and that generates the energy to keep the body active and the mind alert. So you mean sustained energy? Yeah, that's what I said. For sustained energy, live right with Liver Right. Donate stuff, create jobs. The CollegeInsider.com postseason tournament on CBS Sports Network is being brought to you by Marriott the official hotel for the 2015 CollegeInsider.com postseason tournament. And by 312 Media, producing Emmy award-winning features for CollegeInsider.com. Back with you in Evansville. We have seen six ties and 12 lead changes. The Purple Aces up by one, trying to win their 24th game of the year and their first postseason tournament in their Division I history. That has been the story tonight. Iggy Muscovichis, 25 points, 10 rebounds, his 20th double-double of the year. Jordan Martin hits the front end of the one and one. And Martin only 64% on the season from the free throw line, but yeah, Iggy has had just an outstanding night. Of the 36 games this year, 20 double-doubles, that, that's impressive. Martin playing with four fouls, so is Upshur. Simmons, got it. You can tell he's the coach's son, did a real good job of setting that uh, pick up by a little jab step to the baseline, squared his shoulders, got it to go. Jalen Brown. Yeah. 
We talked about Brown being the explosive of the two bars, and that time anticipation shoots the gap and finishes with the slam. And the big slide on the way into his own huddle. <laughs> Think these kids are pumped up? There you see the uh, left hand comes away to steal, gets his feet set. Throws it down. His third steal of the game. Evansville up by three. Both teams have three timeouts remaining. And on the next Aces foul, Northern Arizona will also be in the double bonus. And the fans on their feet. They're loving every second of it. This tournament has been so great for so many programs. Give them a chance, a young team like Evansville, a chance to win five games in a postseason tournament, and kind of mobilize their fan base for the next year. And it really just starts the things rolling for your program because you can really grow from it. How many teams have come in this, had some success, and then the next year, the year after that, they just continue to grow, makes the big dance. And uh, it all starts with this tournament. So, you know, without this, wouldn't have the opportunity to get those things going. Not to mention, real good basketball on both sides. Yanku will be shooting too. <laughs> Certainly, these are teams that could have been playing in the NCAA tournament. They have had very strong play over the last couple weeks. Well, yeah, Northern Arizona, I, I was out in uh, Missoula, Montana for that Big Sky final, so I watched the semifinals the night before, and they had a really tough game, Montana. Montana able to pull it out right down the stretch, one by two, so. You know, one bounce here or there, they could have made the big dance by winning the conference tournament. Yanku now with 229 free throws made, which is the new Big Sky Conference record for one season, passing Damian Lillard. Martin sits. Upshur and Dixon in there with Buernick and Yanku and Kaluna for Northern Arizona. First time we've seen a little bit of pressure by Northern Arizona just to take some time off the shot clock, already down to 20. Valentine. Valentine. Yeah, great play by Valentine that time. Just reading the defense, didn't try to go all the way to the rim, just pulled up a little short jump shot. He struggled, but uh, star players want the ball in their hands in key situations. Hasn't been a three-point shooting game. Lumberjacks down three. Oh, Dixon nice to Oh! Viewer Nick missed it with three on the shot clock. Wow, Dixon, what a look that was. A left hand scoop pass inside and somehow missed a wide open layup. And a timeout call by Marty Simmons on the Evansville bench. They will have two remaining. Didn't like where the offense was headed. Yeah, didn't have anything set offensively. Shot clock at 11, so they have a chance now to draw up the out-of-bounds play, get into a quick hitter. If not, then go right in maybe a two-man game. Here's the last sequence. Yeah, you can see Dixon just a little head fake, a stutter step, goes up. Look at that left-handed dish pass in some way, just missed it. But to give Wing uh, credit there, reacting, getting a hand up, maybe made the offensive player take his eye off the rim. Muscovicius has been a big story, 25 points, 11 rebounds. His team, the Purple Aces, in front by three. In a quick hitter like this. Who are you looking for? Yeah, I think initially you go to your star, Valentine, uh, and then if not, look inside for Iggy or play a two-man game, maybe let him pick and pop because he does shoot so well from outside. Or just shoot a step back three. <laughs> <laughs> He's made like plenty see, of those. Yeah, you'd like to see him maybe go to the basket a little bit more, put a little more pressure on the defense. Upshur, off balance three. Martin kept it alive. Kaluna. Again, the offensive boards is killing Evansville right now. You can see Upshur really wanted to get a shot up, too. 
Talked about taking the ball and wanting the ball in the big key situations, taking the big shots. Just couldn't get it off their defense. Valentine. Miskevich is rejected by Upshur. And they'll say it's Evansville ball. Kaluna has been huge off the bench for Jack Murphy. Again, just going towards the rim, being in the right place at the right time, but giving the effort by going towards the rim. He has 11 points. Inside a minute to go. Jalen Brown off to wing for three. Just missed it, but Simmons has a rebound. New shot clock. Crowd wanted a foul. Valentine is fouled by Dixon. Well, again, Blake Simmons, the, the glue guy for this Evansville ace, is just a great effort to come away with that offensive board. Just physically manhandled the defense to, to get it, to kick it back out. So that was a great play. Not sure why you foul there down one. No, no, no real reason. There'd be plenty of time on the shot clock, 11 and a half second differential. Maybe out of frustration not getting that defensive board. Valentine, a 75% free throw shooter. And that's down. The last year shot up in the uh, 80 percentile. So whether it's just the, the logging more minutes and being a little bit more fatigued when he gets the line, he gets the first one to go. He's missed a few tonight. Northern Arizona can tie or take the lead. Yanku, no, Kaluna, no, Miskevichis with a rebound. Now they have to foul, and they do. <laughs> Adam Wing, smart play there, not panicking, just controlling the ball, even using his body to get in the way of Yanku to commit the foul. 80% free throw shooter, the junior out of Moray, Kentucky. Doesn't get a lot of free throws, only 61 on the season coming into the nice game. Nothing but net there. That's a biggie. This to make it a two possession game with 26.4 seconds left. Yes, sir. Now, if you're Northern, you don't need a three right away. Just go to the rim, try to create some offense. If it comes out of that offense, then yes, take it, but don't fire up a three if it's not a good shot. Go to the basket. Kaluna for three. Martin tried to keep it alive. Evansville has it. Valentine trying to dribble out the clock with 12 seconds left. Miskevichis. Ball game. Miskevichis, a career-high 27 points. A little snowbird action there at the end, got behind the defense and finished with a two-handed slam. It was a good way to wrap up just a great night. But uh, again, Northern Arizona went for the quick three, and that's exactly what happens. If you don't make it, it pretty much wraps up the game because now you're, you're fouling and a good chance to go to a six-point game instead of maybe cutting a one make. Uh, Evansville have to make some free throws where it's still pressure on because right now it's kind of money in the bank. Discover the going to the free throw line. No, no pressure now. Northern Arizona has had some crazy comebacks this year against St. Mary's, against Kent State, and others, but this would be monumental. Down six with 8.1 left. Lumberjacks have gone cold down the stretch. One for their last seven. Well, all Northern can do now is try to get a quick hitter inbound it as far down the court as you can. Shoot the quick three. If you've got timeouts, call it, set your press, and they commit a foul quickly off the press. Hope they miss and trade those. There you see it's a, a good team effort by Evansville, not panicking when Northern made the run to come back and even take the lead there in the second half because they've had success doing that. So they, they, they knew they were capable, but the Aces just kind of stayed steady and stayed within the game plan. The first ever meeting between these clubs has been memorable. And worth seeing again. They should play again. Yeah. 
officials came over. They were looking at the uh, monitor, just making the official time adjustment. Eight seconds. Yanku to inbound. Fans here can taste it. Lumberjacks need a miracle. And I like what Evansville is doing, just coming up a little bit, showing some full court pressure, three quarter court, to make Northern Arizona not be able to throw it to half court before the clock starts. So trying to keep them in front, showing a little bit of pressure, and then retreating. And you don't want to foul, especially jump shooters. Just try to make them change directions a couple times and take more time off the clock. Still looking at the monitor to make sure we have the time right. Yeah, they, they went uh, 98 minutes, and now they're finally down to eight minutes, and now, now we're at uh, eight seconds. So we're going to go nine on the clock, I guess, to start it. Here we go. Yanku. They need threes. See, that's the play you run when you've got 20-some seconds on the clock, not when you're down to eight seconds. Tried for the old school three point play. Instead, he'll be shooting free throws. Yeah, because if they do that same play, he makes the free throws in a four point game. All of a sudden, it's a two point game, and now Evansville's got to make some free throws that really mean something. Instead, by taking that quick three and missing, you know, it's pretty much over because they get a basket on the other end. It's a six point game. Absolutely. Got lucky that ball didn't go in, though, for Evansville because all of a sudden, that's a whole different game as well. I get a three point play. Burenick back in, replacing Upshur. Northern Arizona has five seniors in the rotation. Dixon, Upshur, Reynolds, Springs, Burenick. This is their final collegiate game, and it's going to be a, a bitter taste. This is the team that won 11 of 13 coming in. And the only two losses were by two points on the road, so they were really rolling. Yanku hit them both. They get it inbounds to Ballantyne. And that should about do it with three seconds left. I, I thought Jack Murphy might hold one of the substitutions to get his defense set uh, when the ball went in the basket, but uh, instead would put everybody in the lineup. At the line for the Purple Aces, DJ Valentine. Valentine hadn't been automatic from the free throw line tonight. Uh, normally a real good free throw shooter, 75%, but has missed a couple. Six for nine tonight. Ooh, that's all the rim there. <laughs> Offensive guys back in for Northern Arizona. Valentine certainly a candidate for MVP of this tournament. Hits both free throws. Kaluna gets it out of bounds. Strong arm, ball just kind of took off on him. And since it wasn't touched, they'll take it all the way back underneath the Evansville basket. The University of Evansville comes up aces. They are the 2015 CIT champions. Seesaw game, Evansville led by eight at the half. Changed a lot in the second half. Northern Arizona seemed like they ran out of steam and couldn't make enough threes down the stretch. Yeah, it's a lot to ask. Playing on Tuesday at high altitude and leaving and uh, all day of travel, coming back, trying to adjust the time change, the central time zone here. And, uh, you, you can't fault the effort, though. They gave everything they had in the tank. Just came up a little bit short. Egidius Miskevichus, the junior from Vilnius, Lithuania. A career-high 27 points to go along with 12 rebounds, leading Evansville to a 71-65 victory 
claiming the CIT. They win five straight games in this tournament after losing four straight entering the, the tournament. The 2015 Most Valuable Player of the College Insider.com Tournament is number 31 for your Purple Aces, DJ Ballantyne. Jamie Kaplan, chairman of the CIT, Jamie Kashmara giving Ballantyne the trophy. He struggled tonight, but really carried this team, averaging 30 points per game coming into tonight's final. Yeah. Fans, the 2015 College Insider five games, champion but, uh, this yeah. year, your University of Evansville Purple Aces. Only senior Jalen Moore accepts the trophy for his teammates. He's, he's had a bunch of senior nights, hasn't he? <laughs> a happy scene for Marty Simmons' crew. Great basketball fans here in Evansville, and they are celebrating a championship in the collegeinsider.com tournament. Back to put a wrap on it after this. Catch up to the minute press conferences from every tournament team as they experience the thrilling highs. We're not playing not to lose. We play to win. And agonizing lows. It's a bit of pillow swallow because the Final Four is so special. NCAA March Madness 360, presented by Buick, tomorrow at noon on CBS Sports Network. reached critical mass. Yes, when others focus on one thing, you see what's coming next. You see opportunity. That's what a type E does. And so it begins. With E-Trade's Investing Insights Center, you can spot trends before they become trendy. E-Trade, opportunity is everywhere. North of the south, east to the west, from Idaho to the bayou, and wide to LA, we're making a way, and making our way to the fine. We were there for the first. We'll be there for the 50th. CBS is the home of Super Bowl 50. The celebration is on in Evansville. Purple Aces are the champs of the CIT. 71 to 65 is the final. And Kevin e. Martin is standing by with the Riley Wallace MVP of this tournament, DJ Ballantyne. DJ struggled a little bit tonight offensively, but an amazing tournament overall. Averaged 30 points a game coming into tonight. Talk about the overall experience and just winning the CIT championship. Uh, it's a great feeling. I mean, uh, we're so excited. We've worked uh, extremely hard. Uh, we didn't finish the regular season like we wanted to, but to come in this tournament and play how we played, uh, it's fantastic. And you got to give props to your big guy, Iggy. Oh, yeah. Talk about Iggy's play. Iggy, oh, man, he played great today. I mean, he helped me out so much. Uh, my teammates knew I was struggling early in the game, and uh, I think Iggyus did a fantastic job tonight. I mean, it's, he played play his best, best game of the season. And how much sweeter does it make it to win it here in Evansville in front of this electric crowd? How sweet is it? Uh, it makes it that much better. You know, uh, this crowd deserves it. It's our first championship in a long time. So uh, I'm not going to be more excited for the program or for the city. Well, congratulations, DJ Dave. Back to you. All right, Kevin. E. Our Marriott play of the game. 
comes from Jalen Brown with the steal and jam. Yeah, really shifted the momentum of this game, just anticipating the pass, cut it through the passing lane, and finished with the one-handed slam to give the Evansville Aces a little bit of breathing room there late in the contest. Kyle, this is a college basketball game worthy of April. It was a great game. These teams uh, haven't played in April ever before. <laughs> so a uh, way to start in the new month and to come away with the championship for Evansville. But again, Northern Arizona, nothing to be head down about. I mean, they played hard. They had some tough circumstances, didn't complain about it, just went out there and competed right down to the wire. So give them a lot of credit as well. The all-tournament team here in the CIT has been named Valentine, the MVP, his teammates wing, and Mashevichus, Upshur, Yanku, and Dixon also from NAU played in this final game. Great careers for the seniors for NAU. Uh, final thoughts here on Evansville as they move forward with a young team. Well, real happy for Marty Simmons. He's worked very hard at this job. He's done a real good job in building this program, but uh, also happy for the CIT but just to watch the way it's grown each year. And each year, you think well, there's no way it's going to get better, but every year somehow manages to improve and get better and better. So it's just been a lot of fun. DJ Ballantyne and the Purple Aces win their 24th game and they win the CIT here in 2015. Northern Arizona finishes up a great season, 23 and 15 after a fine year in the big sky. Coming up, it's Showtime Boxing for Kyle Macy, Kevin E. Martin, our entire crew. I'm Dave Popkin saying so long from Evansville. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports.